Will AI replace medical professionals? Well, that has been the billion dollar question. If you listen to investors, they might tell you that of course AI will replace everything, but that's not and that will not be the case. Don't get me wrong, AI is an amazing breakthrough technology. It's being used right now in medical diagnostics, in monitoring, in treatment planning, clinical trials, drug design, in a vast range of areas, and it will keep on helping us revolutionize how we provide healthcare if we learn how to use it. But AI will not replace medical professionals. Even though there are 5 million healthcare workers missing from healthcare worldwide, and it's going to be 10 million healthcare workers by 2030, it's just not going to be the case. I have five strong reasons to prove you this point. AI will not replace physicians. The first reason is that technologies cannot provide empathy. Empathy is the cornerstone of caring for patients. For thousands of years, empathy has been the most important thing, something based on trust between the patient and the physician. But empathy is reflective. So even if a technology can keep on telling me the right words I need to hear to feel empathy, as I don't trust as a human being, I won't feel empathy coming from it. I will feel empathy from a human being telling me that the technology's decision will be the absolute best decision for myself in my health and disease management. But because empathy being reflective, technologies won't be able to provide that. But patients will keep on needing that even 50 years from now. My second reason is that practicing medicine is not a linear working method. Let me explain. Diagnosing someone isn't about just me measuring every vital sign and health parameter about them, doing all the radiology scans out there, measuring all the lab markers and listening to family stories and symptoms, and then being able to diagnose them with absolute efficiency. We wish medicine worked like that. But unfortunately, that's not how simple it is. Every patient is different. Even patients with the same conditions might have different symptoms. It's all a very complex field where so many things matter that you need a human being's expertise, knowledge, understanding, creativity, experience, and even vision to come to the absolute best decision. We don't have to measure everything because then we will bankrupt healthcare in a day, but we can focus on the things that matter to come to the absolute best decisions about diagnostics, monitoring, or treatment. Number three, complex digital technologies need competent medical professionals. Even if AI can perform at a very high level of efficiency in a range of areas, we will need medical professionals to work with them. So this is going to be a group a medical team consisting of medical professionals like for 2000 years since Hippocrates, patients as the newest members during the digital health revolution, and now technologies, most certainly in the form of artificial intelligence, as the newest member of that medical team. But this new team has the absolute highest potentials to provide the best care for patients. My fourth reason is that you cannot automate everything in medicine. There are some repetitive and database tasks that are prone to automation, like administration. Nobody wants to spend their time on administration while an average physician spends more than eight hours a week just doing administration. That's something AI should be able to take away right away. But there are so many other tasks. If you analyze the top 20 medical specialties, you will find that many of them have more interaction-based tasks than database tasks. They have more creative tasks than repetitive ones. And those will not be prone to automation. There will be a range regarding how automation can contribute to these specialties. For radiology, for dermatology, of course, AI will play a bigger role, but it will still not replace those physicians. A radiologist will work on more AI-based technologies that can help keep on automating the analysis of medical radiology scans, but not replacing the physicians themselves. And my fifth and last reason why AI will not replace physicians is that it has never been the purpose of AI to replace human beings after all. And it has never been tech versus human. A study showed that when they asked pathologists to diagnose patients based on their histology scans, and also AI was trained for the same purpose, the best result didn't come from the AI in itself or the pathologist in themselves, but when the pathologist could work with the AI. You see the benefit in this new kind of collaboration? AI empowering physicians to make even better decisions. And this transformation has happened already in chess. And every chess player, every chess coach, every hobby player like me, we need AI to evaluate positions, to keep on being creative in this field of interest. Yet, AI has not replaced chess players, but has made chess more popular, more efficient, more competitive. We have the same kind of futuristic vision ahead of us when it comes to AI, 
contributing to healthcare and medicine. So in short, AI will definitely not replace medical professionals, but those medical professionals that use AI will replace those that do not. I think that's how simple it is, but as this is the discussion, I would love to hear your arguments and I will personally answer all your points and questions. Let's talk about why you think AI will or will not replace physicians. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe below to get notified about every single new video we come up with. And also please go to medicalfuturist.thinkific.com where you will find our two courses, the Digital Health course and our newest one, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Healthcare. See you there.